Welcome back, learners. So now we're just going to do a quick recap of what we went through throughout this lesson. And to start, we said we are going to look at the main idea being the static electricity and friction. And through that and within that, we started by looking at the structure of an atom. We further went on to look at how we are charging materials that are neutrally charged. And then lastly, we are going to we looked at the static electricity and friction. To better explain uh, terms or certain ideas throughout this lesson, we used words such as friction, static electricity, attraction, repel, and electric discharge. So those words were, were, were used to better explain the main idea being the static electricity and friction. Now, what I then need you to remember, what's important for you to take away from this lesson is the following things. Firstly, I want you to always remember that Rubbing materials together does not create electric charges. It just transfers electrons from one material to the other. Whenever we're rubbing two materials together, we are not creating electric charges. All that we are doing is we are just simply transferring electrons from one material to the other material. Also, we always need to remember that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. So like charges repel, moving away from each other, and unlike charges or opposite charges that are going to attract and moving, uh, to be moving towards each other. In addition to that, we always need to remember that the loss of static electricity as charges move off an object is called an electric discharge. So whenever the loss of electricity uh, of static electricity occurs, as we, are, as we are losing the static electricity as charges moving off an object, that process is called the electric discharge. Lastly, a lightning flash is a massive discharge between charged regions within clouds or between clouds and the earth. So the, the, the lightning flash is caused by the imbalance of charges between two regions. Now with all of that said, I have a question, just one question for you. The question is, what is a resistor? I want you to answer this question for me, and I will see you next time with my answer. Bye.